Well, being associated with Randy Austin in any capacity is an uplifting experience. He's people-oriented, and uh, not just with his employees, but with his philosophy and business. Fairlawn Plaza is people-oriented. Yes, it's got a strip mall and it's got a uh, enclosed mall, but it also is, it's, it's a neighborhood mall. It's hometown mall. And all of these things appeal to me and I think appeal to uh, our customers. I enjoy being a merchant here because it's so, it's so handy. You know, it's, it's a little city within itself. And Randy walks this mall. Within a week's time, he pops in to say hello to every merchant, to every business. And that's just a fabulous thing. The people who uh, rent from Randy uh, and the people who work for Randy are very loyal, and that gives that gives you a little insight of the type of guy he is because nobody ever leaves. When we first started out, he'd tell me his dream was always to have a plaza-like place with you know one of a kind, best of a kind kind of shops. He took every merchant that came in there. He took pride into giving them the best possible looking store. He made uh, the right kind of investments to give them a chance to make it. I'm always impressed with Randy's creativity. We have a gorilla at the zoo named Tiffany, and Randy came up with the greatest promo, both for the zoo, being sponsored by Fairlawn Plaza Shopping Center, and that was to have the egg lady come over and prepare omelets and have breakfast at Tiffany's. <laughs> I think he's just got uh, the right heart for doing the right thing. Um, uh, he's the most fair-minded guy that I've ever met. Randy does a lot for the community, much of it behind the scenes as an unsung hero. One of the things that he does that I think is so valuable and important, and that is he reads for Audio Reader uh, over at uh, KANU. Fairlawn Plaza Mall hosts the Topeka Gives each year, and that's become a phenomenal event, raising money for nonprofits within the community. He deserved a lot of credit for things he never took credit for, and he'd probably give a lot of credit, and probably they deserve the credit with Irma and Danny in his office at helping to run the business at Fairlawn Plaza. What he really often does is to see what, organiz what the organizations are doing and then ask the question, how can I help them? And this is another example of his his broad spirit of, of uh, helpfulness and uh, commitment not just a narrow, what's in it for me? And, and then you put all those things down on one side of the ledger and say, yeah, but what else? The answer is, he's a very good friend. And I mean friend in the broadest sense. He's not primarily interested in what you can give him, but how he can be of help to you. Well, not only has Randy made Topeka a better community, Randy has made our state a better state. The thing about the Kansas Humanities Council is that we work in communities of all sizes, and Randy he was really interested in seeing about how we could help support other communities around the state. And so we would have board meetings in McPherson or Cimarron, and Randy would take those things that make him such a wonderful Topeka businessman and apply them to these communities. So we'd have some break time, and I would look around and say, where's Randy? And I'd look outside in the downtown business area, and there he was supporting local businesses. He's genuinely interested in supporting businesses and supporting the people who work there, who own there. One of the projects that was he was quite fond of was a project that we did with the Hutchinson Correctional Facility. And it combines a couple of personality traits about Randy, his interest in the law, his interest in literature, and his love of being a dad. We were working with some incarcerated fathers about learning how to read and discuss children's books with their kids. And then the dads would be able to practice when their kids came to visit, if they were able to come to visit. And regardless, all of them were videotaped reading the book out loud, and the tape and a copy of the book was sent to the family at home. Randy really does appreciate and enjoy good art, and he wants to share it with others. And whether it's in Fairlawn Plaza or whether it's in his home, he's always wanting to share the meaning behind the pieces to who's ever in front of him. And, and he supports artists. That's probably the main thing. He'll come across uh, some artwork by an unknown, and he'll think, this person is great, they have potential, and he'll support them. Randy and Eva Bennett commissioned a heroic-sized lion sculpture. 
and it's, it's at the zoo now. And when you go to the zoo, you see kids climbing all over it. It's a sculpture meant to be utilized, and kids climb on to get their picture taken. It's just, it's just a terrific thing. I did not know Charlie Bennett, but I did know Eva Bennett. I can tell you that both of them would be extremely proud uh, of Randy for this recognition because it is so well deserved. His interests are about as broad as his friendships with others are. And it's that, uh, it's that quality of his, his humanness that I think makes him appealing to so many people. And there are a great many who, are call, who call him good friends. He's just really curious about people, and I think that's what makes him good at what he chooses to do. He never wants to meet a stranger. He's always willing to uh, find out who someone is, what they're interested in, make those connections. And I just think that makes him uniquely him. <laughs>